Yeah, well, it is a pleasant evening out here in Hanover Township, and traffic is very active here at the entrance of the pavilion at Star Lake. You know, the gates open for the free parking just a little over an hour ago, and that traffic grid you see there, it's been that way for the past hour. But we also spent the day talking to some concert goers who have their early parking passes. Their gates opened up at 2 o'clock, and even those folks showed up an hour earlier. Gates opened at 2 o'clock. Within five minutes, traffic backed up from the Star Lake entrance to Route 22, about a quarter of a mile away. Early pass. Gotcha. Four Hanover Township police officers are managing the traffic at the outset, but a lot of concert goers parked on a side road about a quarter of a mile from the entrance, a full hour before gates open, even with prepaid parking passes. Their strategy is to be the first in line to avoid the notorious traffic headaches. Even first time out of town guests from Syracuse, New York and Michigan have a game plan. The gal we came down to visit, uh, she knows the venue and knew we could get in early and she uh, got us the early entry. So, okay. yeah, so we're here like five, five and a half hours before the concert starts. So, uh, yeah, we should be early enough, I hope. Based on what I was hearing after a recent event or two here, it was get here before the gates open. It could be frustrating. That's what you heard. That's what I'm hearing. This overhead map of Star Lake explains why they arrived early. There is only one entrance into the concert venue. All traffic pours in for Route 22 from two directions, and two directions are Route 18. All of that traffic bottlenecks at the Star Lake Lane entrance. Such was the case two weeks ago for the Dead & Company concert. Some people didn't even get in. For Jimmy Buffett, we didn't have much of an issue, but I did see Dead & Company. A lot of people were very frustrated. But like I said, we learn from other people's mistakes sometimes. So we came early today. And some people choose to be dropped off at the entrance of the pavilion at Star Lake. For example, that gray car that's pulling off, that belongs to an Uber driver. And some folks, they'll get dropped off right here and simply walk to the pavilion. For now, reporting live from Hanover Township, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News. 4.